Meanwhile, there is a growing controversy over a possible BP link to the release of the terrorists behind the 1988 Pan Am bombing over Lockerbie, Scotland. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer is in London with more on that. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Harry. Uh, well, this goes uh, right back to the bombing of the Pan Am flight over Lockerbie, Scotland, and a man called Abdel Basit Megrahi. Uh, now, uh, the four, de four Democratic senators in the United States have alleged that Beef BP profited from the release of a terrorist. That terrorist is Al Megrahi, and he was released from jail last year on health grounds. He was said to have terminal cancer, uh, but it's worth saying that he's still back. He's back in Libya and still alive and well. Um, now, back in 2007, the British government was negotiating a prisoner transfer with the Libyan government. That included Megrahi. Uh, and BP at the time was very keen to get some oil deals in Libya. And it was encouraging the British government to uh, conclude this prisoner transfer agreement, if you follow me. Um, a little later that year, uh, BP did sign a $900 million agreement to drill oil wells off Libya. And now, of course, there's some question that Al Megrahi was part of that deal, and somehow there is a quid pro quo, prisoners for oil. The senators are charging that in this case, in that deal, justice took a back seat to commercial interests. Now, uh, yesterday, uh, Secretary of State Clinton said she had received a letter detailing this rather complicated story. And that she would look into it. It's worth also saying that BP said it made its statement back in 07 that it did uh, encourage the British government to conclude a, a successful prisoner transfer, uh, and that's all it's going to say. It has not issued any new statement or information. Right. Harry? Elizabeth Palmer in London this morning. Thank you.